Excel A Level Maths Pure Paper 1 Summer 2019 Question 14 Curve C in the standard Cartesian plane is defined by the equation x equals 4 sine 2y for y between negative and positive minus pi over 4. The curve C passes through the origin O. We need to find the value of dy by dx at the origin. So we've been given that x equals 4 sine 2y. We can differentiate both sides with respect to y to get dx by dy equals 8 cos 2y. So remember when differentiating sine, this goes to cos. And because we've got the 2y in there, that multiple of 2 comes out. So 4 times 2 is 8. And we stay with a 2y inside the cos. We want dy by dx, though. So we just flip this upside down. So dy by dx equals 1 over 8 cos 2y. We want to find the value at the origin. So at 0, 0, we're just going to put y in as 0. So dy by dx equals 1 over 8 cos 0. So it equals an eighth. For part b, we need to use a small angle approximation for sine 2y to find an equation linking x and y for points close to the origin. So our small angle approximation is sine 2y is approximately equal to 2y for small y. We know that x equals 4 sine 2y. So replacing that with a 2y, we get that x is approximately equal to 4 times 2y. It's equal to 8y. For part 2, we need to explain the relationship between the answers to A and B part 1. So we've just worked out that x is approximately equal to 8y. Rearranging that, we get that y equals x over 8. And we know from part A that dy by dx equals an eighth. So our dy by dx is just the gradient of the line y equals x over 8. So part A is the gradient of what we found in part B. For part C, we need to show that for all points x, y lying on C, that dy by dx equals 1 over a square root b minus x squared, where a and b are constants to be found. Well, we've already worked out that dy by dx equals 1 over 8 cos 2y. Uh, we know from the question that x equals 4 sine 2y. Looking at the format that we're being asked to find this in, we've got a square root of b minus x squared. And we've got cos and sine in what we've got already, which suggests we're going to use our sine squared plus cos squared equals 1 identity. Note that I put the two y's in there because that's what we're dealing with already. So rearranging this, we get that cos 2y equals the square root of 1 minus sine squared 2y. So replacing the cos 2y in our dy by dx formula gives us 1 over 8 times the square root of 1 minus sine squared 2y. But we know that x equals 4 lots of sine 2y. So rearranging that, we get that sine 2y equals x over 4. So sine squared 2y is x over 4 all squared. Now we want this in a form with just x squared. We want to get rid of that over 4. So squaring there, we get x squared over 16. Now if we multiply through the square root by 16, we would then need to divide the whole thing by the root of 16, a quarter, to keep it the same. So we get that 1 over 8 times a quarter, square root 16 minus x squared. So 1 over 2 lots of the square root 16 minus x squared, which is in the form that we needed. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.